I'm gonna die. I might, I might, I might be, I might have to swim out for help. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna work on the work together six dash one on page um, 155. Thank you. Um, I apologize for my folks out there in TV land uh, for the screen being so dark, but that's the best we can do based on our computer glitch here. So. Looking at the problem on page 155, we see that on February 28th of the current year, Golden Tan has the following general ledger accounts and balances. The business uses a monthly fiscal period. So what this is telling us, folks, is that we're dealing with a month. That's the fiscal period that we're dealing with. It's also telling us that these balances that are listed here on this page, on page 155, are the balances as if we were taking them out of our general ledger, out of our um, ledger balances, okay? So let's start off with doing the heading. And our company, as we know, is called Golden Tan. So we put that in the center. And then we're using or creating a worksheet. And we're creating it for the month ended in here it says the month ended February 28th. February is one of those things you can't spell very well. 2016. Okay. And they've been nice here. They've pretty much put this in the proper order for us. I can't guarantee that that is always what will be done. Hint, hint. So you've got to make sure in some of your problems that you know what order it should be in. Okay, so let's start out. We've got first thing, um, we're going to do our cash account. So just list all of your ledger accounts on the left margin in the account title section of the trial balance because that's what we're doing right now. We're doing the trial balance. And what's our trial balance used for again? Primarily, first thing? Make sure our debits equal our credits, okay? So just list your accounts first. So we have cash, petty cash, accounts receivable, Ruby, Prince, I think it says. Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit more. Okay, Ruby Prince, supplies, Prepaid insurance accounts payable are Navarro um, Gary Baldwin. So I'm just going to abbreviate G Baldwin Capital. G Baldwin drawing income summary sales and then our expenses advertising expense Insurance expense, miscellaneous expense, supplies expense, and utilities expense. When you get all done, I write the word total. I do not believe on Applia that it gives you a space to do the total. Don't worry about that from an Applia. I do total so that I know it's the totals line. I also said you're going to have to add this up. So I put my single rule right here. Single rule means that you're going to add everything up above this line. Okay. 
Now I start putting my balances. So you just do, you're just going to go down and you're going to put each of the balances that are listed there. If you had your ledger that you were getting this information from, you would just take the last line in the ledger in the balance column of your ledger for each account. 90, 9800, 150, 2795, 456, 750, all debits. Then I see that I've got my first accounts payable, my first liability, so I'm going to pop over here to the credit column, 555. And then I have my capital, 14885 and then I've got my drawing balance of 3400 credit for my sales 4320 and then debit for my expenses advertising 931 miscellaneous 378 and utilities 1100 now you add them up. So go ahead, add away. Add away. Folks, tell me what you get. You're going to have to, yes. You're going to have to do this on the test. You're going to have to do it tonight when you do your application problems. Yes, so total it all up. Total your debits and then total your credits. First thing, if you do, make, if you do have a difference, Check your math, because a lot of times it's just simply that you added wrong. So just start with the simple solutions first, okay, and add it up. <coughs> Matt, those numbers can't be funny. Know what? I think I just read a number wrong. Is that twenty-seven ninety-five? Uh, I can't read this because it's too dark. Twenty-seven ninety-five. Yes. Seven fifty. Is that one eighty? Yes. Look in your textbook, dude. You got the balances right there. There's no one eighty. All right, we good? Where are we, folks? I want to reconnect to my doseri. Are we good? Who's got a balance for me? Okay, so when you total it up, your debits equal what? 19 what? 760. 760. And your credits? Same? Yes. Okay, good. Now we double rule. What's your question, Maddie? I got that for credit, but not debit. Okay, chances are 
you've added incorrectly. If you've got a different balance in your debits and your credits column, chances are you've added it incorrectly. Start there. If you didn't add incorrectly and you get the same incorrect numbers both times, then check your numbers. Maybe you wrote one of the balance numbers incorrectly, okay? If it wasn't that and you truly had a wrong number, you start with trying to figure out where did you get that wrong number. And I'll go into that at the end of this chapter or at the end um, to try to help you understand like where, like where your errors could come from, okay? All right, so that's where we stand right now. Now let's move over. You've probably written a number wrong. They're, they equal. 